Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Nick White here. I uh, do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and check the description for all the information. Check HackRank and Leak. Uh, I do all the HackRank Leak problems. I have solutions on my channel. Uh, this is called Java Output Formatting. Java system.out.printf function, like print format function, can be used to print formatted output. The purpose of this exercise is to test your understanding of outputting, uh, format outputting, whatever, yeah. To get you started, a portion of the solution is provided for you in the editor. You must format and print um, the input to complete the solution. Every line of input will contain a string followed by an integer. Each string will have a maximum of 10 alphabetic characters, and each integer will be inclusive in the range of 0 to 999. Uh, each line of output should be two columns. The first column should contain the string and it's left justified by 15 characters. The second should contain an integer expressed in exactly three digits, meaning we would have to pad with zeros. And if the input is less than three digits, you must pad your outputs leading digits with zeros. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're just printing a string and then a number. And if the number is like 65, we'll just pad a zero because that has to be three digits. Um, so each string is left justified with trailing white space through the first 15 characters. The leading digit of the integer uh, is the 16th character, and each integer less than three. Is, yeah, 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 we already understand that. So we already have a loop that takes in our string and our integer. So now all we have to do is actually just use one print call. So system.out.printf. So we're just going to print our formatted string. So regularly, we would just print s1 and then x, right? Because that's the order we have to print. We have to do string and then integer. But what we're going to have to do is use string formatting to get it to look to get it to look how we want, and especially with the padding zeros. So if you just look up, you like I don't memorize these string formatting things, like the methods and stuff behind them. I just use documentation. So I just looked up the documentation. Here's some examples: formatting an integer, right? Uh, I know that percent %d is for integer, so whatever order you put them in. So like I'm gonna percent %s is string, percent lowercase s, and percent %d is integer, right? So this is gonna print this, and then you specify within the order, s is going to be associated with the first, you're gonna do comma, and then the first variable, then comma, then the second variable. So s1 is going to be in the place of s, and x will be in the place of d. Integer is d, s is a, a string, that's all I'm gonna say. And, but the problem with this is we have these in the string, like we're doing string formatting, printing, that's fine, right? But the problem with this is it's just printing this number and then this number with a space in between, right? And you can't just do this 15 times, that's not gonna work. So if we run this, it's just gonna be one space, I'm pretty sure, right? So yeah, look at that. And then it's not even a new line, right? So we don't even have a new line here. And also, actually, it looks like it did print spaces, but it doesn't matter because that's not that's not how you should do it anyway. There's better ways to do this. Um, but yeah, we also have to print a new line. I, I, I think you have to do percent n, n for new line. We'll check. I'm not sure about that either though. So, you know, that might be wrong. Okay, no, you could just do backslash n. I think you can do percent n for a new line, but all right. So now we have a new line. We have the string. We have the, you know, integer. So um, how do we pad an integer with zeros? So it literally tells us right here, pad with zeros. So you have to just put zero and then the number of zeros you want to pad with and then D. So it's percent zero three D. So that's going to pad our integer with zero. So you see we had 65 down there. Now it's going to be zero six five, right? Zero six five, zero fifty, just like we want. So I guess what we could really, we could try this just for fun is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, right? Because they wanted 15. So, I mean, I guess this might be a solution if that actually works. No, maybe, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so let's do it the regular way. Um, the regular way is you can right justify or less justify an in, left justify an integer. Usually they involve putting numbers bet in between, right be after the, um, you know, percent symbol and before the um, variable name. So, um I'm going to left justify the string because we already padded this with zeros and I don't want it to get too messy over there. So we're going to do left justify 15 characters and I think that should work. Yeah, there it is. So you left justify 15 characters, you right just uh, you don't right justify, you just pad with zeros. There you go. That was it. We're going to submit it. You j I'm, for these problems, it's not really a problem. They just want you to get familiar with concepts and stuff like that. So just know that you can use, like, if you have to print things in a certain way, look at the docs. There's a ton of, like, great little articles that just tell you how to do things. So 
just look them up. Here's a table of all the things, right? Um, you know, string value, percent S, percent D, decimal integer, you know, et cetera. So just look those up if you need to do string formatting. That was Java output formatting. Please check out my other videos and thank you.